Welcome to Excel Magic Tricks 1797. And in this video, we got to change the word first to one, the word second to two, third to three, and so on. Now here's our column of words. And there's no easy way that I know how to do this except to make a lookup table. That way we can look up whatever the word is and return the number. So in the top cell, we'll use the new lookup function xlookup. There's the lookup value, comma, the lookup array where we want to take this and find a match. That range there, and I'm going to lock it with the F4 key, comma, return array. Those are the values we want to return, F4 close parentheses, and that'll work. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. I'm going to go down a few rows and check F2. I'm verifying if the cell references are right, and they are. Now, if you already have these words, you actually don't need to use XLOOKUP. There's an easier way. If I use the X match function, in older versions, it's match without the X. I can simply give it this lookup value. And what does the lookup function xmatch do? Well, comma, it looks through this lookup array, F4, and tells you what position it's in. So of course, seventh is going to be in the seventh position. So that's the formula I would use. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Now, we don't have to lock the cell references and copy it down manually. Because if we have Microsoft 365 and we're not in an Excel table, instead of giving lookup value a single cell, I'm going to click in the top cell, Control Shift down arrow, Control Backspace to jump back to the active cell. Because I put a column of values into XMatch, that tells XMatch to deliver and then spill the position for each item, comma, and then I highlight these values right here. Notice we do not have to lock the cell references, close parentheses, and when I enter, I don't have to manually copy it down. Now, if we're old school, we'd use VLOOKUP. I would, as a relative cell reference, look that up, comma. The table would be this whole table, words in the first, numbers in the second, F4 to lock it, comma, the column index. That's the item I want to go and retrieve. Second column, so I put a 2, comma, false or 0 for exact match. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. You know, in fact, I probably would not use VLOOKUP if I was old school. I would use the match function. Look this value up, comma, highlight this column. This is old school, so I have to lock. And match without the X does approximate match by default. So unlike XMatch, which does exact match by default, we have to make sure and put a 0 here to tell it to do exact match. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. So really, the way to go is old school match, new school match, but don't spill it, or just spill it. All right, if you like these tricks, I have a new book I just wrote, The Only App That Matters. The links to buy those books from Mr. Excel website or Amazon are below this video.